Hi everyone, welcome to another episode and I'm here in my mini beds on plastic experimental garden looking at an experiment that I had an episode about. I'll put the episode down below. I can't remember what number it was offhand. But the experiment was three tomato transplants, two in solar pyramids. You can see one on the right there. And one transplant not in a solar pyramid. And you can see that right here. And to see if the solar pyramids make a difference. Now, this transplant, this tomato we're looking at, looks okay. It did have some dead leaves that I picked off yesterday and it has some brown drying leaves there. It's, it, it could look better. Now, and it will look better. I'm, I'm sure that tomato will do fine in time, but we want to see how these tomatoes, same tomato transplants, same variety, planted on the same day, what the ones in that were in this solar pyramid look like. Both these. We'll look at this one first. I'll pull up, pull the pyramid cover off, and you can see a significant difference in that tomato, in the growth and health of that tomato. Significant. In the solar pyramid there, the solar pyramid is a cloche to help plants get off to a good start. And we'll pull off the other solar pyramid here. See the garlic's doing really well. Hey, let's take a look. It's got the scapes on it. See the curly scapes coming out? Garlic in mini beds has done remarkably well. Garlic does, does good here. Not in mini beds. Okay, we'll pull this one off. Let's see what we got here. Okay, not quite as big as the other solar pyramid, but still significantly bigger, healthier than that one in the middle that has been exposed to the elements. It hasn't been in a sheltered ideal environment. So there we have it. At this point, I'm going to take, it's supposed to, we're supposed to have a warm day. I'm going to take these solar pyramids off, let these tomatoes start fending for themselves. Okay, thanks for watching.